How geared is the other team? Death Knight? Yeah, fuck that. Cornbread Fred. It's actually a great name. Oh, Cornbread Fed. Never mind. Fine. It's horrible now. It's horrible. Non-redeemable. Uh, talents item level, guys. Right there. If you want to copy it, feel free to do so. The appearance changer is coin of many faces, and also check out my Twitch. It's in the upper left. Twitch.tv slash Paraglasses. Uh, if you want to try and catch a stream. I will have a streaming schedule up soon. A very concrete streaming schedule. But as of right now, it's just you kind of have to catch me live when I go live. Admittedly, this is not even close to the best system for, uh, you know, being consistent slash, I don't know, being relevant on Twitch. But anyway, check it out. I'm there sometimes. I hope to see you guys there in the, the slight chance that you check it out while I'm streaming and whatnot. But anyway, let's go middle, boys. Let's go middle. Let's pop some coolies. Pop some coolies. All right. Big damn, big damn. Oh, yeah. They're gone, boys. They're simply gone. It's poor Death Knight. The thing about Shadow is I really like their burst. I think their burst is honestly... I don't, I don't want to call it best, but their burst is absolutely disgusting, in my opinion. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot of damage, for sure. And on top of that, of course, you also have the self-sustain that Shadow Priests have. Pretty good, in my opinion. Pretty good. Unzis feels bad. Cleanses mind games, my only ability. Well, I'm gonna talk about... I don't know, I guess Classic WoW. Even though this is like, this is probably stemming from the last video I did on the Death Knight talking about TBC, but I'm really excited for TBC Classic WoW. Um, I, I think I'm just gonna play a lot of TBC. There's gonna be... I don't know, I'll, I'll definitely still play retail, but it's, I'm definitely not gonna play it at the same rate that I am now, which is pretty consistently. I mean, every day I log in and play retail. I really feel like once TBC releases, I'll probably play retail like... Uh, may maybe to go from every day to like every other day or something like that. It's definitely, n like, it it's gonna go down. It the, the game time on retail is gonna go down for sure. EBC is the one expansion I've never played, so I, I, I feel like I'm gonna put a lot of time into it, and... Yeah. I don't know, I still have a lot of classes to level. Which brings me on to the next thing. I think I'm gonna make a leveling classic series, which I have tried to do in the past on a good old loyal dwarf called Dummy Thick. Um, level 20. I kind of want to start all over at level 1 again on a PvE server, because I I think that TBC might be kind of PvP dominated, just because of the nature of TBC and like Hellfire Peninsula, just all the level 60s being around level 70s, I feel like that's going to incentivize world PvP a lot too, so I'm kind of concerned about world PvP, like I want there to be world PvP, but I don't want there to be world PvP while I'm leveling. And all of my level 35s and already existent level 60 on Horde or on a PvP server. So that's the kind of conundrum there. Um, I do eventually want to have another max level on a PvE server for this reason pretty much only. Just the fact that I'm kind of more or less scared to be on a PvP server whenever launch does hit. So that's that. Um, let's hold on cooldowns. I need to think here, boys. I need to think. Brett Pally, no. I have no kids, but if I had any, they'd be gone by now. Because Ret Pally destroys my will to play this game. The good news is Ret Pally's won't be super broken in uh, TBC, dude, so we've got that going for us. Hell yeah. Mind game slow. Stun this guy. Uh, I guess we'll use Vampire Embrace. We have a good bit of dots out. Just gonna use cooldowns dispersion here. Vampiric dispersion. How many people can we get to chase us? Death Knight, Pally, <laughs> and the Rogue. 40k health rogue, by the way. We are pretty tanky for this. But yeah, TBC, classic. Um I can't think of the server. Oh, it's old Blanchy. <laughs> just because like I've I was looking at servers, PvE servers to level on, and I was like, what's just like a stupid fucking server name that I could level on? Scrolling down through the names like, ah, uh, Stormscale, Stormlash, fucking White Mane, like Herod, all, all those servers. The one I the one I picked and the one I'm going to level 1 to 60 on and probably, you know, do a series on that and whatnot. Old Blanche. Old Blanche, boys. If you guys want to play Classic with me, um, I will 
I mean, expect the classic video. I'll, I'll make a classic video here soon about leveling, and then, of course, I'll have the character name and all that in the description and in the video as well. So anticipate that here soon. Um, I'm excited. I'm more excited to just be on Old Blanche, dude. That server is just uh, a fucking gem, to be honest. That server is just a godsend. Void eruption, cooldowns. God, I have cooldowns so often, too. Silence, uh, can't. That is a damn shame. Power infusion, though. Apparently we gave myself power infusion in the middle of all that burst. Good death grip. Really good death grips. Out of the damage reduction. Super good, to be honest. Get dots on these rogues, or at least one of them. Lenses feels weird. How could you? How could you shadow lock me? There's cloak. So we're just gonna reapply dots to the healers and then reapply dots to the rogue here. Hey, got him. So now he can't stealth, really. I guess we'll throw Void Torn out. Silence that Void Torn. Let's see how much damage we do. Will it kill him? Of course not. Why would why would I ever be able to kill a max health priest, man? That's just nonsense. Priests are so goddamn tanky right now. Even Shadow too, to be honest, but. Holy priests in general, disc priests in general. Definitely have the the capabilities of surviving a team fight for a very long time. See that massive chain harvest? Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. <clears throat> By the way, I should note I'm taking weird conduits right now. I'm taking a conduit that has a chance to I'm pretty sure when it's whenever I use Mind Flay, I think? I think it's Mind Flay damage has a chance to make it so I can Void Bolt just for free and extra damage, so. So that's a thing. Um, yeah, usually I don't talk about Conduits because personally, like, a lot of my characters aren't even... I don't want to say high enough level, but a lot of them don't have Conduits unlocked, or even good Conduits unlocked, so I never really talk about them, but I guess this is the one, this is the one time I shouldn't skim over Conduits because I actually have a Conduit that is kind of changing the playstyle a little bit, but I'm barely pressing any sort of, like, cooldowns here. I can't mind games. Oh, okay. Oh, mind games, void eruption. What am I What am I saying, boys? Balance that guy. We'll probably just go on this guy. He's going for the fear. We fade out of it. He didn't fear, boys. That fade was for nothing. I used my big defensive for absolutely nothing there. Are you proud? God, that is has a lot of groupage there. Go on this guy, though. See the damage we can put out. He's just gone. There's another priest on him. Gone. Poor guy. This is the one very rare times, too, that we play Temple of Kot Mogu and actually get, like, kind of a Temple of Kot Mogu that goes past the five-minute mark, I'd say. Most of the time, it's just a complete stomp. Bounce that. Oh, we can't. Uh, is Mind Games worth it on him? I don't think so. I do not think so. So going back, oops, just use salt water potion. I need to sell those or something, man. They're kind of useless, but they're not. They're they're useless, but they're not. I I never use them. I guess is why they're useless. But going back and touching back to the classic WoW video, or the classic WoW topic, and TBC topic. I think I'm gonna level a hunter because BM hunters are the most broken in TBC. Um, I've, I've watched a good bit of TBC tier lists, so you could say I'm somewhat of an expert myself. Um, yeah, I, I think BM Hunters are going to be really strong. Um, I don't anticipate really any hotfixes or ch major changes to them for to make them not super strong, so I'm going to roll BM Hunter on the classic old Blanche server, because it's just what needs to happen, dude. It's just what needs to happen. Drink it to fear. Let's get dots out on the healers here. Oh, that rhymed. I feel so cool. I feel so cool when I rhyme. It makes me think I should be a rapper. Just just forget all of the fucking YouTube and tech shit that I'm doing. I just need to be a rapper, man. It's the moral of the story here. Ooh, dispersion. Go, let's go on the border, boys. Go on the border. Might have to greater fade here, huh? Greater Fade, the Abomination Limb, just so he can't hit me. Line of Sighted as well. Polymorph me, friend. Well, Pyro Moist. Who are you, man? Who's, who's man's? See if I can save this, Boomy. Life Crypt, Life Crypt. Uh, we'll just get dots anyway. Anyway, Hunter. Hunter for TBC. In conclusion, I've talked about TBC three times now and have never 
said, like, anything aside, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna level a hunter. I don't have anything here. We'll just pop this. Fine games, don't interrupt it. Hey! Now we heal. Full health. <laughs> cool, cool. We, we got his interrupt, too. Uh, we need Greater Fate here so bad. I should have used Greater Fate. I was like, this this rogue won't be a 40k health rogue. There's nothing to worry about. And then he was 40k health and, you know, he did the thing where he kills me. So touching on Classic once again, Omega Lull. I will play it. I will level a Hunter on Old Blanche. PvE server for you guys. If you guys want to play with me, go level on Old Blanche. I will be leveling to 60 here soon. Um, I will not be quitting retail. However, my retail time will go down pretty drastically once TBC actually launches. Um, thus, thus ends my conclusion on TBC slash classic slash... I, I think it's actually called TBC classic. So that's, that's, we've got that going for us. Drink it here. Uh, let's see if we can one-shot you. Full health, huh? Tough. Pretty tough. Damn, they won too. Well, they came back, man. Kudos to them for coming back. I mean, it was pretty tough the whole time, to be honest. I mean, there's many chances where we could have won, many chances where they could have won, but... I don't know. That was a fun Temple of Cot Mogu, and that's all you can ask at the end of the day. Just a fun battleground. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, description, bell thing, Twitch, Twitter, all of those things. Again, check out the Twitch. I stream somewhat regularly, but it's really uh, random as of now, but there will be a schedule sometime soon. Um... Yeah, TBC, Night Elf Hunter, old Blanche server. Hang out, man, dude. Level with me. Till next time, take it easy, guys.